You are probably struggling to shoot in NBA 2K24. You've tried a ton of different jump shots out, but no matter what you do, you're looking like this out there. Back, 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 Game time. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot And now you got this bill with shooting attributes on it that you spent all this VC time and maybe even money on that you're stuck with. And you might even see a handful of other players shooting well and wonder how are they shooting like that? Well, today I got y'all. If you watch this video all the way through, I can guarantee you, you will become a better shooter at NBA 2K24. So drop a like on the video right now and consider subscribing if by the end of the video you think you learned something now let's get started what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back at it with yet another banger and a lot of people have not been explaining this visual cue shot timing setting to you guys correctly and 90 percent of 2k players are not using it correctly and don't understand it to its fullest so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to shoot with no meter so you can take advantage of that 20 percent green boost without a meter while also explaining this shot visual cue and showing you guys when you should be timing your shot and what to be looking for on your player when to time your shots depending on what your settings are on i'm also going to show you the best settings to use for 2k24 shooting and a lot of tips and tricks i have for you guys for shooting that not a lot of people tell you guys while also giving you a trick to gain vc my points progression to 99 overall and also keep and gain shooting badges that are going to be useful to you now you're not just listening to anybody while watching this video i have a 95 96 win percent on 2k24 here goes my record you see i'm going crazy i also have a top 20 3v3 pro-am team in the world right now and more it's only a week into the game and we're about to hit the highest rank diamond tier as our 3v3 prom team and i run point guard for our team i already have over 618 games played on 2k24 with, while shooting 60 percent from three and i have all types of builds and positions on this game ranging from a 78 three-pointer an 81 three-point a 92 three-pointer and i also have a bunch of teammates that have different builds with different ratings at different positions that also shoot very good on this game so i have a lot of knowledge of what to not do what to do and how to be become a better shooter in this game because at the end of the day i truly want you yes you watching the video to become better at this game and this video should help you do that so we're going to start with the settings then we're going to give a couple tips and tricks on hot zones progression all that stuff then i'm going to teach you how to shoot without no meter and then we're going to go diving deep into this visual shot cue stuff so let's go ahead and start with the settings so with the regular settings the first thing you want to do is turn on shot feedback for all shots basically what this does is on the bottom left it shows you what percentage of the contest you're getting on defense and the defender is getting on you when you shoot a shot so if i shoot a bad shot you know and it's 10 percent contested i know that or if it's open i know that that's kind of an important thing to know not only that let's say you miss a shot right and it's late early slightly early slightly late you want to know that information because if you miss a shot and it says slightly early that's key information for your next shot because you're like okay i gotta time it a little later next time you know what i mean so very key make sure that you have this on all shots and that's it for the settings right there next is the controller settings so what you want to do first is make sure your shot timing is on at least shots you can take the layup uh, layups off but right now i have shots and layups uh, and next is shot timing visual cue now this is the most important setting when it comes to shooting there's push there's release there's jump there's set point now each of these are different sh jump shot cues to let you know when to time your shot and all four of them are different ways to time your shot and you would have to time your shot differently depending on what setting you have this on now i'm going to dive into this setting deep later in the video and explain it visually so you guys know when to time the jump shot depending on what your visual cue is and what to look for especially with no meter but for now i'll tell you guys that i use push and I think push is the easiest one to time. And I also think it's the best one. But at the end of the day, it is personal preference. But we're going to dive deep into that later on in the video. Jump shot meter. Make sure this is off. You get a 20% green boost without the jump shot meter on. Okay. If you aren't good with the jump shot meter, that's fine. Take it off. It's just like riding a bike. You got to take off your training wheels eventually to be able to ride the bike. Okay. So let's go ahead. Go in your settings. Turn it off. And you might suck with it at first. But you're going to improve it. I'm going to give you some tips in this video on how to be better without the jump shot meter on. Layup meter, that'll give you a 20% boost if you have that off. I don't have that off yet, though. I'm not used to that too much yet. Uh, shot meter size. If you are going to use a shot meter, make sure it is on large. Uh, there's no reason not to have it on large. And outside of that, yeah, there's not really any other settings here. 
uh, to really go over for the shooting besides our animation settings. Now, if you scroll all the way to the customized HUD, there is a bunch of settings right here. And a lot of this stuff is visual settings, but these visual settings can go a long way. For example, the ball trail. Personally, for me, if I had a ball trail on, that would distract me when I'm shooting the ball, which would make me a worse shooter. So I have that off. You can also change where your takeover is. You can put it on the left side of your player. You can put it above the rim. You can change where your turbo fatigue meter is located, your shot feedback, turn that on and off. You can change what kind of shot meter you have on. I have the comment one for my layup meters. Even change the visibility, graphic and size and color of your player indicator. And then of course you can change your perfect releases on what pops up when you green and where that location is above your player, above the rim and what kind of sound effect that gives. And honestly, I'm gonna change mine right now to a flame, bro. Now, before we get into the visual cue information, now it's time for the best tips and tricks. Now, this city is, you know, not as big as the other cities, but it's a pretty big city. And you wanna be able to practice your jump shot, okay? So the best places to practice your jump shot your first option is the Gator facility. Now, honestly, I wouldn't practice my jump shot here if you wanna get a lot of reps in because there is fatigue in the Gator facility. Not only that, but when you go up to rent a court, by the way, make sure you reserve a private court, even though no matter what, it won't be private. Like sometimes I'll go up here and someone will get on my court with no invite and then start guarding me. So that can get kind of annoying, but if you do rent a court, you're just gonna wanna go look for your name on one of these tags and then you're going to walk into the court and then you're going to go ahead and equip a ball and simply walk onto the court and you walk out of the court you're going to have this court where you can just practice your shooting there is fatigue and adrenaline so this is a pretty solid spot to practice your dribble moves but yeah you can practice your shot here now keep in mind the latency is going to be different here than the park but either way timing your shot and looking at your shot visually will still be the same you know and that we're going to talk about that more uh later in the video when we talk about you know how to shoot with no meter and what visual cues to look for but yeah you could practice your shot in here that is option number one now option number two is these random courts that are around the park scattered around the park this one is the adidas court there's also a puma court and they're basically called garage hoop courts now this is like open to the public so anyone else can walk on here and like start shooting but this is another pretty solid spot to practice your jump shot once again keep in mind the latency is a little different than in the online games but like i said you're still you know if you have no meter you're kind of just looking to where the time you're shot visually but yeah this is another option honestly i would prefer the gator facility over this uh, option right here because as you can see someone just walked on the court and now they're trying to start a game with me but i'm not trying to do that i'm literally just trying to practice my jump shot then the last and final option you have to practice your jump shot is at this shooting gym which actually also has another tip and trick i have for you guys in here now in this shooting gym gym you could walk in here it's open 24 7 but once a week every monday you have the option to go in here and talk to your shooting coach lethal shooter right here and there'll be a little yellow icon above him and you can talk to him and you can pick two free hot zones to get on the court which is going to help you shoot better if you have hot zones you're going to those green windows for those zones when you shoot in them are going to be bigger resulting in you making more shots and greening more shots but anyways yeah so make sure you get your hot zones in here once a week i'm pretty sure they can also like reset once a week but if you shoot bad too they can go away but yeah you may as well do that every monday but yeah you there's no stamina or adrenaline that you have to worry about in here the game speed is a little faster in here but you can practice your jump shot in here the camera angle is a little weird in here uh it's kind of like on that 2k low camera angle but honestly this is the best place in my opinion to practice your jump shot you can get a bunch of reps in here you can easily look at like physically your player on when the time the shot that's what i like about shooting in here you even could go to like the sunset courts where they have like uh the ais on the on those park style courts where you can like you know go against the ais like disco and stuff and we're going to talk about that later in the video and like i said with the lethal shooter gym hot spots are very important if you want to check your hot spots all you have to go to is my career go to stats then go to roster click the right stick on your player and then 
keep clicking the right trigger until you get to your hot spots and then your hot spots will pop up and as you can see there's lethal hot neutral cold cold means you're very bad at shooting in that area neutral is like you're 50 50 you know it's whatever hot means you're good at shooting in that area and lethal means you're insane at shooting in that area and you can get lethal hot spots in that lethal gym once a week so you see i have two at the top of the key i have my hot zones all around the three-point line and in the paint so yeah my hot zones are looking pretty good right now and the more hot zones you get the better your player will be at shooting and not only that in the gator facility if you do 1v1s in the gator facility you can get your hot zones in there okay so that's a little tip for y'all in there go get your hot zones in the gatorade gym but another tip make sure you guys are buying boost if you do have vc okay if you guys didn't know shooting boost definitely make you a much better shooter i always make sure to buy shooting boost uh, they're like 1500 vc for 10 games you could also buy gatorade so you have more energy energy by the time you do get open because obviously the more energy you have the easier it is to shoot the ball okay but yeah shooting boost very important make sure you're buying shooting boost if you have the vc if you don't have the vc it is what it is another tip i have for you guys is takeover of perks make sure you unlock all your takeover perks there's gonna be a bunch of quests for them but if you're playing threes twos or fives use the sponge perk because obviously when you get takeover you're gonna be a much better shooter and the fastest way to take over is not accelerator this year. It's actually sponge. Sponge is the best takeover perk to use for twos, threes, and fives. And you're gonna be a way better shooter in takeover. And sponge is gonna get you there faster. Now, if you are on the ones court though, accelerator is the best option. Now, the last and final tip I guys I have for you guys is this sunset park. Now, the sunset park is located in the top left of the park. And it's basically this street ball court. Okay, so this is where it is in the city. Go over here. If you want to get shooting badges or you want to just practice your shot this is the best thing to do so go over to this little billboard over here open the court menu and play this disco guy this disco guy is literally like five foot seven he can get you badge progression he can get you overall progression and you can literally just shoot over his head every single time so go ahead start the game so they're gonna go ahead and introduce this disco guy and he is up there bro i mean he's five seven he's just gonna slash every play he, does, he can't really shoot well but yeah look at how small he is i'm my player six six you're gonna be able to shoot over him this difficulty is very easy to you could practice your jump shot in here but i wouldn't recommend doing that because it, the game speed is higher in here and it, the difficulty is actually just mad easy but if you want to go for badness and progression bro look at this just catch the ball spot up and just literally shoot over him every single play and i promise you you will go crazy see you see right here i'm spotting up in the left wing call for it, shoot over those i even got a little spike it doesn't matter it says open every time no matter how close he is to you again right here shoot over him for the third time there we go three for three catch the ball again shoot right over him four for four catch the ball again shoot over him again five for five from three see now i have heat check now i'm wide open mama mentality takeover green six for six from three and you can even go for other badges like corner specialist limitless range asian threes you can shoot over the, his teammates as well and look at 21 points just like that then the crowd's gonna freak out like you just did something <laughs> you know what i'm saying you just dropped off that boy disco 21 and the best part about this is you can keep playing him over and over and over and over and look at what you get from this you get badge progress you get vc and you get my points now i'm maxed out but you get like 10k my points every single time you play this dude look at you get badge progression as well in this not only that you get vc i'm getting 400 vc like bro this is a vc method this is a badge progression method this is a my points 99 method bro this method goes crazy so comment down below if you saw this method just comment disco in the comment section because i just saved y'all hella time and just hooked y'all up with that method right now there not a lot of people know about that now i'm going to try to explain to you guys exactly how to shoot with no meter so first obviously go to your controller settings take off your meter you will get a 20 percent green boost now i'm a point guard i have a builds with a 78 81 and 92 three pointers and i want to be showing you some cra crazy clips i mean shooting fadeaways you know back jumpers and stuff right there there's my center right there with a 78 three pointer shooting fadeaways and basically you want to have a combination of muscle memory and looking at your players visual cues to know when to time your jump shot because you don't have that meter to look at to know when to time it and this is why i can shoot some pretty crazy shots on here whether it's fadeaways or whatever and i know when to time my shot now, obviously that this full court right here is a little lucky but yeah let's look at this backhand fadeaway right the spin back right 
just put it in slow motion a couple times i know when the time i shot i'm looking for my flick of my wrist right because i use push timing we'll explain that later in the video but i'm physically looking at my player to risk every single time i shoot so no matter what shot what kind of shot i take whether it's a front fade a spin jumper i know that i'm looking at my wrist and right when he does what i'm waiting for him to do which is flicking that wrist i release my button and i can shoot the ball so i can shoot these fadeaways i can shoot these front fades i can shoot these step back jumpers i can shoot these spin jumpers i can shoot regular catch and shoot jumpers whatever you want to be able to shoot you need to have something to look at your player whether it's his hand his wrist his you know motion his feet something to know when to release the shot and that's what's going to make you a good shooter on 2k24 and that's how you're going to be able to shoot with no meter now you're probably wondering okay well what am i supposed to look at at my player when i release the ball now let's go ahead and get into that with the visual shot cue timings now just remember never go back to no meter before we get into this you might have bad shooting games i have bad shooting games all the time that doesn't mean you have a bad jump shot that doesn't mean you have the wrong setting on just keep going forward i gave the bicycle analogy earlier in the video and i meant that the only way you're going to get better at shooting in this game is if you take that meter off and you progress with it when it comes to becoming a better shooter with it whether that's a slow progress or fast progress okay i promise you you will get better with it as time goes on the more shots you see the more weird shot timings you get the more slow loadups you get the, the the more experience you have on the game the more you'll know when the time you're shot and that's why looking at the visual cues is so important because on this game me and you both know whether you've played a lot or a little there are weird shot timings not it's not going to be the same shot timing every time that's why you can't really use muscle memory in this game you have to physically look at your player when you have no meter because sometimes you're going to get these weird slow load ups when you have no energy sometimes they're going to be fast because there's a there's a defender right in your face sometimes you're shooting a different kind of shot like a fadeaway and your player's just going to be releasing the ball at a different speed and sometimes you're going to be on players that are shorter or taller with different speed jump shots and that's why looking at your player is a must when shooting the ball with no meter in 2k24 now let's get into these visual cues so you can become an elite shooter so now it's time to go in depth on the shot visual cues which one you should choose and depending on which one you choose how to release that and how to shoot with no meter in general so once again we're going to start with the controller settings and we're going to start with the setting i use now once again this is the shot time visual cue you can use push release jump set point anyone that's telling you that oh this one's early this one's very late this one's late from last year it's just saying anything bro none of these are that they have different visual cues do not listen to anyone that's telling you that bs okay we're gonna start with push okay because this is what i use so let's go ahead get on the gator facility and tell you exactly how this looks now i'm probably gonna slow this down in slow mo so you guys can see exactly how i'm timing this so let's go over here no shot meter now how i'm gonna time this is as soon as after my player starts flicking the ball on his release i'm going to release the button yes i use the button to shoot so let's do it right after my player flicks it green okay so another thing you can look at i'm looking at my hands okay so we're I'm going off muscle memory and visually looking at my hands flicking when I'm on this push release, okay? So I'm going to shoot again, waiting for my player to flick, to release, green. So as soon as my player flicks, I am releasing the ball. Now, obviously, if you're still not getting it right, you're doing slightly earlier, slightly late, you can go ahead and, you know, adjust. Okay, slightly early, got a time a little later, you know what I'm saying? Once again, shoot it right after the flick, green. Now, another thing you can look at is where the ball placement is if you don't want to look at your hands. So basically as soon as the ball hits the top of my head for like a half a second then you release it okay so that's as easy as i can explain it i'll slow it down a couple more times you guys once again you can either look at the hands right after you start flicking your hands or the ball a half a second after the ball hits the top of your shot and then you release it i think this is the best one the easiest one to time now it's the same thing for fades as well if you want to fade same thing right after the ball hits the top or right when your player is about to flick or right when he flicks his hands okay so that's how you time the push visual cue if you have it on something else it's not going to be the same now before i change this to something else i would recommend push cue to literally anyone that isos any kind of taller guards any spot ups that's what i would recommend next one we'll do is release now release 
is gonna be a little later than the push now release i would recommend to any smaller guards anyone that has a fast jump shot that's just too fast for them you know what i'm saying someone that's getting a lot of slightly lates or lates i would recommend this to you for this one you're gonna want to wait until your player releases the ball okay so as soon as he's done releasing the ball that's when you time this shot so right here i'm gonna wait he released the ball i shoot it so the ball as soon as the ball leaves my player's hand so unlike the last one where i'm waiting for a flick this one's the ball has to be out of my hands when i let go so the ball's out of my hands green so that's if you're looking at the ball if you want to look at your hands honestly this is a bad one to look at your hands you have to wait like a half a second after your hands are completely flicked so that's right there green so i would look at the ball for this one once again when the ball completely leaves your player's hands that's when you release this now that is for the release cue okay only the release cue so we went over the push and the release now we have two more to go over so another one is jump honestly i think this is the worst one for me if i ever had was forced to use this this is like a guessing game sometimes like i'm not gonna lie i'm over here slightly earn earlying and slightly lading the jump every single time like you're supposed to time it off your player's jump but my jump shot i don't really get off the ground too much so it's hard for me to really look at a visual cue of when i'm supposed to release this jump shot like look at i'm getting slightly late and slightly early but yeah for jump you're supposed to release the ball as soon as your player gets in that jumping motion so as soon as your player kind of loads up his jump shot right before he loads up his jump shot because a lot of you guys probably don't have jump shots where you jump off the ground high so the tip i would give to you for the visual cue to look for this jump shot as soon as your player kind of loads up his jump shot okay so as soon as his elbow you know okay so i'm gonna slow it down a bunch of times so as soon as his elbow kind of gets set to start in that shooting motion that's when you release it so as soon as his elbow locks in to start shooting that's when you release the jump shot that is the easiest visual cue to look at this one with so yeah you want to look at like your elbow so i'm looking at my elbow of my shooting hand and as soon as it gets into a pocket i release it once again as soon as it raises up into that pocket i release it now that is for jump i personally think that is the worst visual cue if you use jump you know maybe you like it there's probably some people that prefer jump and that's why there's four different options because some people are gonna like ones better than others now the last one is set point now unlike jump where you're waiting for your player to go into the motion like you kind of release it as he's going into the motion to set his feet set point is a little later than that so set point is as soon as your player is set in motion he's ready to shoot the ball but he hasn't flicked his hands yet he hasn't released it yet he's not the ball's not leaving his hands at all none of that it's before all that but it's after he's starting to go in motion so it's right at that point where he's completely set so once again i'm going to slow it down for you guys a couple times but as soon as you see your players hands elbows and all his arms in placement ready to shoot that's when you release the ball okay that's why it's called set point as soon as he's set you release it okay so this one is a, another one that's kind of weird but a lot of people are good with set point but the best visual cue to look at this is literally your player's entire upper body his arms is above his waist you know his entire upper body just looking as soon as he's in motion green so look at his arms his head just look at the entire upper body as soon as everything's set in place you release it green so hopefully i explained those cues correctly now once again you might like one better than the other the one i like the best is push i would recommend release to smaller faster jump shots smaller guards faster jump shot players i would recommend push and set points to spot up builds and jump <laughs> look i wouldn't recommend jump to anybody but maybe you like jump i don't know but jump is just kind of crazy to me but set point push for spot ups taller builds releases for faster jump shots that you you know can't handle that you need a little more time to like actually see your player shooting you know what i'm saying to release it yeah those are the four options if you have any questions let me know in the comments but no one's been explaining this correctly or good at all so i thought i would give my best shot at showing you guys how to do this because a lot of you guys are really bad shooters in this game because you don't understand this mechanic or setting and hopefully now you do and look y'all if y'all need some jump shots or you want my jump shot click on one of the videos on the screen i got some more tips and tricks videos for y'all it's video boy henry aka double h if i helped you out at all make sure to drop a like subscribe and i'm out y'all peace